welcome to my channel. My name is Shawnee and we are Glitzy Stitches Home DIY. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, hi! I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Super excited today. I am going to show you how to make gnome shoes, the standing gnome shoes, out of a simple paper towel holder. Okay, and a pair of Dollar Tree socks or any you can have these in any color you want they can be black white you can get the pink ones you can get the you know blue ones anything you want to you could even use a hat to make this these are simple and they're fun and this is what i use for again the standing gnomes um so how we're going to start this is you want to take a paper towel holder oh excuse me three quarters of an inch out of your paper towel holder because guys i've tried it with not doing anything not altering the paper towel holder at all and you get um a jolly green giant gnome shoe so it's <laughs> it's just too big so we don't want to do that okay so we're going to go three quarters of an inch here about right there all right doesn't have to be perfect this is all going to get covered up um, you'll want hot glue for this. That's the only glue you'll need. And it works wonderful. Okay. I'm going a little big on that, but that's okay. Okay, so just like so. Then you can remove that. And see, I went big on one end too, but it's no big deal. And then you'll want to take, and you'll want to mark, kind of spread your paper towel holder out like so. You're going to want to mark this at three inches twice okay so three inches so we're going to go at three and we're going to go at six okay. i came up with this a long time ago and i tried it and i didn't alter anything and this time i altered it a little bit um because it just makes them nicer and neater and i'm making these for a upcoming challenge i have um an upcoming challenge um no upcoming gnome challenge that i have so and then you want to just cut these off like so i'm going to start using the one i'm going to use though but i'll use this for you guys so it's okay to show you all right let's see just cut it right across does not have to be perfect because you can always cut more off if you have to just like so just like that and see what you're left with here and this is pretty good because almost all the paper towel holder gets used and it's amazing how you just have to use one i love that part of it all right so we want to do this cut right across and these are amazingly sturdy too so just want to cut right across like so just like that you're going to have your two pieces here now those are your two three inch pieces okay now you're going to want to come in here guys and you're going to want to cut about mm, mm, a one and a half inch piece okay we're going to go one and a half inches same scenario you just want to go ahead and you want to get it as straight as possible actually okay just like so straight as possible and then you're going to want to do it again here one and a half inches all right just like so guys you just want to cut it right down the middle there just like that okay then you're going to want to save your little piece like this okay now you're going to want to divide that in half as well and again you're going to want to cut it right down the middle and that's going to be our entire paper towel holder a mm, little less mm, let me see about let's go three quarters on that as well okay gonna go three quarters of an inch so we have a three inch two pieces a one and a half inch two pieces and a three quarter two pieces right like that okay all right now you'll need again a pair of socks okay you're going to want to cut these socks you want to cut the toe off 
and then you're going to want to cut the sock up you're going to want to measure five inches okay so it's going to be like this then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to go just like this right up the center and you're going to cut the center of your sock and you're going to have it just like this and you're going to do that to a pair of socks okay just like that okay so now we want to take our three inch piece and we want to glue it together okay and you know guys this doesn't have to be perfect you can glue it um just however you want to glue it you can glue it a quarter inch you can glue it a half inch i'm going to glue it about a quarter inch just like that okay so and if these are too tall you can make them shorter it's up to you it's however how you want your gnome boots to be so and these make a fantastic base for the gnomes that are sitting gnomes. So we're going to put one together and I'm going to show you. And then you're going to want to take your one and a half inch piece that we cut. Now you're going to want to do this. Now let's see if this is going to be... Okay, that might just be perfect. Let's try this. Okay, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to put your glue here, just draw a bead of glue, and I, again, I'm doing mine about a quarter inch, but that is not cut in stone. Um, you guys, you can do it if you want to do it a half inch. It's however large you want your boot to be. So, okay. Now, I'm going to want to put these together, but here's the deal. See how that is? So I'm going to cut a notch right here, okay? Just literally do this. I'm going to cut like a um, triangle notch. Okay, now you want it sitting down, of course. Okay. Any glue that doesn't dry or whatnot that's okay guys that's okay you're not gonna see it so just like this okay now okay you could make elf boots with these you could make so many things okay now this piece of paper we might have to um, cut, okay? We might have to cut this down. And I do believe we are going to have to, but maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Because you want to run this all the way. Okay, just a second, I'll show you guys. You want to run this all the way back to here like this, and you want this to go like this. It's just secure in your shoe, your boot. So. We we'll want to run a dab of hot glue right here. Okay, just like that. You got kind of want to get it centered, guys. Okay, and I put a whole lot of glue there because we got a whole lot of wear on these probably. All right, and then we're going to want to go up here and right in the back, you're going to want to tuck your tab now guys this is just for extra security you know you want them sturdy because they're going to have the weight of the gnome sitting on them so okay let's see here there we go there we go like this and then just like this so you've literally made a toe for your shoe for your boot i just hold it in there like so um, if you want to wear your finger protectors, you can. I don't. It's no big deal. Um, I haven't gotten burned doing this yet, by the grace of goodness. So, okay. And I am going to put a shot right in here. And I'm going to tell you why. I think it's going to make it look. There we go. Yeah, that's better. See, that brings that toe right out. And I like that. There's nothing like a cute gnome shoe. I just think they're adorable. And you can decorate them any way you want to. You can take fur. You can take anything you want. So, all right. 
Okay, we're gonna let that dry a second. Then we're gonna make our second one. All right. All right, let's let that set up for a minute. We'll be right back. Okay, so there we are. There's the base for our little gnome shoes. Okay, now they do set up kind of high and we can switch that if we want to. Um, I'm going to compare them to another pair that I have and let's see how high they set up. Actually, they're perfect. Okay, alrighty. They just look like they're setting up high before they're the material goes on, I think. Okay, then you decide what side you want. You want to use this side or do you want to use this side? I'm actually going to use the smooth side for these. Okay, let's do this one first. Then you want to just tuck, tuck, and tuck some more. All right. Tuck, tuck, and tuck some more. Until you get it how you want it. You know, you got to work with this a little bit because you got to stretch it. There we go. That's how we're going to do that. Okay. So, and just glue it as you tuck. Now, you might want your finger protectors for this, guys. I would highly suggest it, actually. Okay. And remember this. This is going to be covered up by your um, gnome's bottom, so you don't have to worry about that. All right, guys, here we go. All right. Okay. And you can use fabric, fabric glue on this, excuse me, guys, and that would be perfect as well. Okay, so what you're going to want to do with this is now you have your shoe, the base of your shoe, okay? Check. You just want to turn around and repeat the exact same process with your second shoe. Okay, so now I've taken one of the um, drying cloths from the Dollar Tree and I've cut out a square um, just long enough to go around our boot. Okay, just like so. Okay, and what you want to do with these is you want to start and end where your boots are going to come together. Okay, so. I'm going to run a bead of hot glue just down the center. And sometimes this is tedious. I'm not going to kid you. Sometimes this is tedious because it wants to go everywhere. So we'll just do, ow, darn, ouch, <laughs> darn, <laughs> woo, <laughs> that was hot. See, you might want your finger protectors for this one, guys. Might I be an example? Oh, my goodness, that was hot. Ow. And I, then I turn around and do it again. Yeah, I'm going to need my little uh, finger protectors for the next part of this for sure. All right. Excuse me. Here. Okay. My glue gun must be good and worked up because it is hot. Okay. All right, just like that. Now, you do not have to, like, run a continuous bead of glue for these guys. You can run just, you know, a half bead every now and then. Okay, and you're going to want to get it over here, and you're going to want to do it just like that. And it might stick. No, well, it's not going to. Okay, so we're going to need to dab it. All right, just like so, just like so. All right, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I would highly suggest your finger protectors. Those are so cute. Okay, now, here's my dilemma. I was going to put this red button on our little shoes here. It's really cute. You can just put the red side, too, and that would look really sweet. Um, But then I remembered I had purchased these pom-poms. They're so cute, guys. Oh, my goodness. The little pom-pom right there. And I love them. Okay, now I'm going to wipe some of this glue up, guys. I'm going to put this other one together, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do when we get these all together. I think these are adorable. They are so cute. 
Aren't they cute? Little gnome shoes. Do, do, do. <laughs> I love them. They are so cute. All right. So let's get this one together and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone. So we are back. And what I want to show you guys is this. We have both of them looking good here. Um, both the same, basically. I am going to touch this one up a little bit because I took my good old time with this one and I like it a whole lot better than this one. So I'm going to touch this um, left one up. Okay, guys. But for these gnomes, what I do is I do glue them together. And that was the importance of having them the same on each side. Um, and the reason I do this is because when you're finished with your gnome, you just plop it down on this and I mean you can attach it with some glue and it works so good. So let me go ahead and get these attached together. Um, you're just going to take your hot glue like so and I don't gob it but I do use a bit because we don't want them to come apart. Um, okay let's see. And we're going to go just like this. We have so much going on. This next month is so exciting. Challenge after challenge. I'm so appreciative of that. And um, yeah, go ahead and um, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And each time I upload new content, you'll be notified of that. And have a great day. I hope you like this video. Bye.